around now, loads of new shows start in America. And Brad and I, we watch a lot of TV. Yeah. We are going to review these TV shows based on the title and the synopsis. We haven't seen them, so basically it's a TV preview review. Right. Yeah, you yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, that's the whole concept right there for me. It is. <laughs> Out there, it's a cartoon. I'll show you the picture. Right. Are they genitals? It's, I don't know what they are. Testicles. Apparently, it's... <laughs> Hairy testicles. It's actually a bit of a mystery project. No one really knows what it's about, apart from the fact it's young guys growing up in the awkward time between childhood and adolescence. Hopefully something like South Park teenage years. That'd be... Weird though, wouldn't it? I just, I think it looks shit. Like you said, it sounds a bit like South Park, the teenage, teenage yeah. years. And they haven't even got like um, Matt and Trey. They've no. got the animated <laughs> there. Zero Hour, which is a conspiracy theory show. A conspiracy theory is based around a clock that Nazis supposedly built, which to me sounds brilliant. Fictional. Brilliantly bad. I assume fictional. And here is the Nazi clock yeah. in the museum. <laughs> Let's no. just turn it to 12. Oh no, Hitler! Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know what conspiracy you would have about. A, clock built by Nazis. There's lots of clocks that have probably been built by Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine National Treasure set to Nazi stuff. What's it going to be like? They set the different time and then like, like a different Nazi conspiracy yeah. happened. Oh my god, if the clock reaches 4pm, the yeah. SS will arrive! <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, desperate for some sort of Nazi to come out of the clock. 12 o'clock, look at your beautiful wife! She is mine! No! One minute past 12 and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, do you know what? I'm looking forward to that one. No, I am too. One way or another, it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Legit, which is an Australian comedy about this guy Jim Jeffries. He's trying to grow up and be legit. And he has a friend and a crippled brother. I like how there's especially said he, that he has a crippled brother in there. Just so you know, yeah. going into that, Beware. you're going to have some crippled jokes. <laughs> I mean, there's only one way that show can go. Doesn't sound very original, does it? No, it doesn't at all. He's going to grow up. In three or four seasons, yeah. The Carry Diaries. This is sadly a Sex in the City prequel. Oh, do you know what? Fuck yeah, yeah. I've seen this. Yeah, set in the eighties. Fucking eighties. Like the girl is actually quite attractive, and I've seen Sarah Jessica Parker, and she's not attractive. <laughs> no. Unless she falls down the stairs in like episode three and gets a really bad nose job, it's not going to be Sarah Jessica. Final episode of The Carry Diaries. Falls down some stairs off a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the show is aiming for. It's basically just trying to cash in on people who, who miss Sex in the City. Yeah. If you watch Sex in the City, you know where she's going to end up. There's no drama about it. You know no. she's not going to find the love of her life in the 80s. Sex in the City was horrendous. Defiance, which is going to be on sci-fi. It's set in the near future. A collective of alien species trying to move to Earth after their sun explodes. Earth says, no, fuck you. I actually think it sounds actually pretty awesome. I do yeah, like a, a sci-fi show. Well, it's not the traditional, oh, aliens are coming to conquer. It's... Oh look, aliens are here. No, fuck you aliens. Yeah. The, the danger with sci-fi sometimes is that they don't have a lot of budget. The picture they've got, I should show you. I'm even more intrigued now that I've seen that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell weird guys, can't you go from like, sex in the city, like, no, no fuck that <laughs> shit, no fucking way. <laughs> aliens, yeah! Hannibal, the prequel to Science of Lambs. Now I'm pretty sure that's already out of film. <laughs> it follows FBI criminal profiler William Graham and his early relationship with forensic psychiatrist Hannibal Lecter. The problem is you know that the big reveal at the end of the series, at least series one, is going to be, oh, I'm a cannibal, and everyone finds out and his, his friend yeah. goes, oh no. I prefer original shows, to be honest. The following, which stars Kevin Bacon and James Purefoy. Kevin Bacon is an alcoholic former FBI agent who gets pulled back into the job when a serial killer starts killing again in a unique way by recruiting a cult of copycats via something online related like his blog or Facebook or something. Now, sounds great, serial killer you know, hires basically copycats, but if they know how he's doing it, cut off his internet access. <laughs> if it's a serial killer, why does he have the internet in the first place? I think, I think it does look quite good, but you are right. Yeah. It sounds great if they do it right. All I can think of is just take away the internet. <laughs> I want to watch it, I'll probably watch the first episode. But yeah. that's all I can think of. All I'm... opinions expressed were that of our own. <laughs> <laughs> that was a TV preview review with Brad. If you know of any other TV shows that are starting, let us know in the comments. And we probably will watch them, because we watch everything. Yeah.